Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever in Wing Chun kick with the back leg or anything like that? Yeah, yeah no reason why not. But, you know, um, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, especially in, in a dummy, right? So if this get, leg gets swept, right? You can see a leg swing around. This one here. It's the it's a, it's a part of the uh, dummy. Then you cross over here and then you twist it to this one. Huh? Yeah, because when people ask about they tend to be like, oh, the karate, what's it called? The uh, maigi kick? Yeah. Maigi. Maigi. This, uh, yeah. That's what people tend to think when they see us. So uh, the problem with a kick like this, yeah, is that uh, when you kick here, you kick right. So right here, you know, exactly. I, I I get your whole body here, right, right here, yeah. right. Whereas if I'm bending here, I have options. Yeah. You know, when I'm kicking here and you you push this, right. So from here, right. So yeah. So this has room, but this goes directly to your hip. Yeah. And not here. And here I giving you my body here. Yes. But if I kick from here, my body is yeah. still. And the, the thing is, you need to be bent, this one right here. So this one allows flexibility here, this one here. Yeah. Right here. You see? This has the flexibility. Whereas this doesn't anymore. Once you bring your knee straight, your knee straight here, right here. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in Wing Chun, we fight with our, our kicks are, has a flexible structure. Yes. Yeah, we're not, uh, it's a different kind of kick. It's not really. Uh, you know this, and then bang like the taekwondo type of kick, it's because it's close, right? Yeah. It's just you still kind of all pressing, and the feeling and the you know it's more of a, a push kind of kick, Stamping compressional kick. kick. Yeah, it's more a compressional, right? Than uh, this big kinetic. Yeah. Because we for the big kinetic we need the distance uh, for this kind of kick. Yeah. You know, but we're not fighting. We don't want that distance, right? So we're coming close. Yeah. So apparently, you know, this is where uh, when Yip Man and uh, Leong Xiong had the fight, right? Yeah. Leong Xiong is a bigger guy. Yip Man is very small, only, you know, five, you know, about five, five foot uh, three. It's about only this height, and you know, very thin. And of course, the big guy is able to move him around. You see him move, but then he was kicking and kicking him. But you can see the kick because he was so close. Yeah. And it was uh, mostly the kick that was uh, making him win, win the fight. Okay. Okay. So let's, uh, okay, uh, you, you and I then. So it becomes a different ball game now when, when you're uh, starting to use a leg. Okay. So we're going to start doing a little uh, leg kicks like this and, and try to catch this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so become aware of that. Okay, so yeah, so from here, right? Yeah, right away. Right? As soon as you land, I'm, I'm kicking you. Yeah. I'm thinking. So you don't have to look. You just have to know where, where the foot is. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. So, so all the time? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. yeah. So start uh, applying some legs now. Okay? Just so yeah, so now, see, make sure you don't break my knee. Yeah. I bend it here. And then I try to begin. Because you're on one leg. Yeah. So this way you need to quickly come down and try to uh, stop me from you know, advancing. Okay. So I'm going to, right? Right. Right. This kind of stuff. Yeah. So now, when you feel this, again, you have to get out of it. Yeah. Learn to so pick it up here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, stick to it. Yeah? Right. <laughs> I try to stick to it. So this is again from this being light. <laughs> right? From being light. Right? Just here, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay? It's the same. In here. Yes. As soon as you land. Yeah. Again. May I ask you one? Yeah. yeah? When you're writing on the board. Oh, uh, <laughs> here. I'm sorry? Uh, when when, when you, you foot, uh, you foot. You're using this I did. Board. I did? Yeah. Uh, then I'm wrong. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, oh, oh. The, yeah, when, when, when you kick the front one. Alexander yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, the back foot shouldn't go here. The front is okay. Yeah, this is the front. Yeah, so in order to bend it. Yeah. Right? In order to bend it, go here. But I could be, it's fine, because this acts also as a shock proof if it purses here. Yeah. Here. So I, anything that comes here, I got to make sure my knee's bent, right? If not, then, you know, I'm going to catch him, right? So from here. If his knee's not bent, then I'm going to do, do this kind of stuff. 
So all, anytime, so you, you attack this, if you came this leg, and you attack my knee inside, no. You came inside, yeah, and you press my knee. So you, you have to be flexible. If you're hard, if you're, hard then you, you're gonna uh, break that, your own knee. So you, you press this, right? Yeah, you go in here, right? And then you learn from here, you see, from here, I'm gonna come up here, trip this one here, right? Right, so all this here, and pull, things like this. A bit of a bad knee, okay. So yeah, right, right, okay, good. So always think up of what's happening in the back leg. Yeah, okay. Okay, see, right? Right. Slippery. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Start thinking feet now. Let's try it now. Okay, uh, Christopher. Yeah. Okay. 